Hi everyone and welcome back. In today's video I'll be doing a review and demonstration of the Huion Canvas 16 pen display. This is a drawing screen that you can plug into your PC or laptop and use as a drawing tablet. It comes with a pressure sensitive pen and all the bits and pieces you need in the box. Before we begin I want to say thank you to Huion for sending me this tablet to test out and for supporting my channel. That said this is not a sponsored video and all the opinions are honest and my own. This is the second Huion tablet I've reviewed. As the first model was now a few years ago, I thought it would be interesting to try out the new design features and see what's changed. This review is not going to be a comparison video, but I will mention a couple of features later on. I'm going to begin by unboxing the tablet and taking a look at what comes in the box. Then, as always, I'll walk you through the setup, testing out the pen, and then finally create a finished piece of artwork in Photoshop. I'll discuss my thoughts about the tablet and how it performed whilst I am drawing. Ok, to start off with the box, it has a nice sleek design and a graphic on the front. Everything was well protected and neatly stored inside a moulded insert. The screen itself is 15.6 inches, has a 14mm thickness and a 1920 by 1080 resolution with an anti-glare surface. There are plenty of customizable keys down one side of the screen, 15 in total, including a little trackpad that you can use to zoom in and out by dragging your finger along it. If you want more detailed info about the specs, you can have a look over on the Huion website, and I've put a link to that in the video description box. Accompanying the tablet, there are accessories, starting with the pen. It fits comfortably in the hand, it has two customizable buttons on the side, and the lower portion of the pen has a rubber-like coating, making it easier to grip and avoids the pen slipping while working. The pen does not need any charging so there are no cables or batteries for it. The pen stand is next and it's very nicely designed, with extra pen nibs stored inside and two ways of holding the pen, vertical or horizontal. The screen also came with two drawing gloves, they can fit on both the left and the right hands, if worn on the left, the Huion logo is on the underside of your wrist instead of on the top. Drawing gloves are useful for allowing your hand to glide smoothly across the screen and can be helpful when creating steady lines. Next there is the thank you card, warranty and quick start guide. The software needed for the tablet can be downloaded from the Huion website so there's no CD included. And then there are the cables and power plug. The plug comes with two attachments and you can choose which you need. The power plug options that you get in the box will depend on where you live in the world and you can pick the one you need when purchasing. The rest of the cables are grouped together and are used to connect the drawing screen to your PC. And finally there is the tablet stand. Not all drawing screens come with a stand, although most brands do sell them as an extra. And I always like to use a stand when working so I was pleased to see this included in the box. I will talk a little bit more about the stand later on, but for now it's made of metal and has a few different tilt options. So that's what came in the box, and now I'll quickly walk through the tablet setup and then dive into drawing. I began by putting together the power plug and I attached the various cables, one into the drawing screen, two into the computer and then the power plug into a power outlet. The screen is connected via an HDMI cable so your PC will need one. I placed the tablet onto my desk and then headed over to the Huion website to download the latest version of the driver. It's always a good idea to get the most up to date version of the driver as updated versions often contain fixes for bugs and other issues. If you have been using any other drawing tablets before then you will need to uninstall the previous drivers from your PC first. Huion has drivers for both PC and Mac, and downloading the driver took less than a minute and as did the installation. It was very easy and straightforward. Once the tablet is out of the box and plugged in, you can have it up and running in less than 5 minutes. After the driver was set up, I could then go through and adjust any of the settings and make any changes to the express keys on both the tablet and the pen. You don't need to make any adjustments when you're starting out, but as you use the tablet you can play around and customise everything to suit your workflow, especially if there are any keyboard shortcuts that you use on a regular basis and want with any easy reach. After making any changes you can hit apply to save them and you can also restore everything back to default if you need to. Let's start drawing. In this section of the review I'm working in Adobe Photoshop CC. 
you can use whatever programs you have installed on your computer. I also work quite a bit in Illustrator with a pressure sensitive brush and the tablet also works well there as well. I'm going to start by testing out the pen and create a few practice pages and strokes. My favourite one to make is these swirling lines and to vary the pressure between the up and down strokes. If you're starting out then doing this will help you to get a feel for how hard to press down with the pen to achieve the line you want. You can also play around with different brushes. Not all brushes are pressure sensitive so make sure you have one selected to fully use this feature of the pen. There are 9192 levels of pressure sensitivity and I was to get able to get lots of variation with the pen and as I mentioned this also works in Illustrator where you can create custom brushes and set the pressure levels. The pen also has a 60 degree tilt function which means that the shape and colour opacity of the lines will change as you tilt the pen in your hand, um, similar to say when you're shading with a pencil. As you will see later on in the video, the digital art work style that I use doesn't have much shading, so I didn't make use of this feature but I did want to mention it here. The design of the pen is very nice, it's comfortable, light in the hand and the rubber grip was very helpful. This newer pen is smaller than the previous Huion pen that I've used and I like that feature and the new rubber grip as well. Of course, the battery free design is much better than having to charge the pen, something which I am terrible at remembering to do, so battery free styluses are a big plus for me. After I played around with the practice pages, I moved on to the final illustration. I'm working in multiple layers today, starting with a sketch layer, then a line art layer, and then a layer of base colour, and then finishing with highlights and a few shadows. I like an unblended colouring style when working digitally, so that's why the shadows and highlights are not blended into the base colours. On to my thoughts about the graphics monitor itself. In terms of lag or delay when drawing, I honestly didn't see or notice any. The pen moved very quickly across the screen and the brushes in Photoshop followed. The screen resolution was very good, nicely saturated colours. If you don't like the colours, brightness or saturation levels when using the tablet straight out of the box, everything can be adjusted. I liked the little trackpad strip that was included with the express keys. It was easy to use to zoom in and out with a touch of my finger. I also liked that there were plenty of express keys. I use shortcuts quite a bit when I'm working and having lots of options to customise the keys was nice. One thing I did notice however was that a portion of the bottom part of the screen a strip at the bottom heated up while I was working. It was warm pretty much from the beginning and continued on through. It was never too hot to be uncomfortable, even after four hours of working solidly on the tablet, and as my wrist was constantly touching the strip as I was working, that could have been a big problem. As it stands, it was not a large problem, even with the stand material, which I will discuss in a moment. And it did take me a while to get used to it, and I've had this issue with other tablets, so it's not just this particular one. Apart from that, I honestly don't have any negative points about the pen or the screen. Both worked really well, the performance was smooth, the process of drawing was enjoyable, and I didn't experience any glitches or bugs. The previous Huion tablet that I've used is also still working well. I passed it along to a friend of mine who does 2D animation and he's been using it constantly every day for the last couple of years, so it's held up well. From my experience with these sorts of tablets, glitches can often be fixed by either updating driver software or resetting the driver settings back to default. Turning off and unplugging the tablet and then replugging it back in again has also worked for me in the past as well with minor problems. A question I often get with my drawing screen review videos is whether or not a particular drawing program will work with on the screen, and does any drawing software come with it? The display does not come with any software as it acts just like a screen and will replicate any program you already have on your PC. I know it works with Photoshop and Illustrator, but if you want to know about any particular program that you have, you can check out the Huion website, but generally speaking most drawing programs should work fine. The tablet itself is very lightweight and much thinner than the previous Huion Canvas model I've used. This in my opinion is an improvement because it takes up less space on my desk, is much lighter if you want to rest the tablet on your lap when working, and is much easier to carry around. This is not a portable screen exactly, but if you needed to regularly move the tablet from one room of the house to another, 
or from home to work with a laptop, then it is light enough to do that easily. Another difference that I noticed here between the older Huion on screen and this one is that the cables are much neater. There are less of them and they are more compactly designed and I really appreciate that as I don't like a lot of cables running all over my desk. So from a design standpoint, that's really nice. The other Huion tablet I used was from 2017 and I have noticed that clustering the cables together now is quite common amongst lots of brands. So let's discuss the stand. The stand is made from metal, which is the first metal stand I've seen with these sorts of tablets. Normally they're made from plastic. So good points about the stand. It's very compact and it can be stored completely flat. So if you want to put it away, it doesn't take up much storage space. It also has multiple tilt angles. Now this feature is really nice as you can set it to work at the most comfortable tilt angle for you and you can easily adjust it as you go along. The inclusion of a stand is always good and this one does work well. In my opinion, the cons of this stand is that it's actually quite hard to open. The small front panel is very easy, but the back one snaps into the base in order to keep it flat when stored. And because it snaps in, it's actually quite hard to open and it took me several tries to get the stand open. Another thing that I noticed, and this might seem a little bit odd, but the metal actually made it more uncomfortable for me to use. The sole reason for this is that the warm strip on the tablet that I mentioned earlier is at the base of the, the screen. And as my wrist would touch the edge of the screen, I would have the warm tablet and the cold metal touching my skin at the same time. And this made it much more noticeable and it was a bit uncomfortable at first. Now I realize this is not a huge deal, it doesn't affect the performance of this tablet and I can always replace the stand if I want to further along the line. But using the tablet right out of the box, I did find the combination of the warm strip of the screen and the cold edge of the stand to be a bit distracting at first and worth mentioning in this review. Overall, I think this tablet is really good. The performance was great, the, street, the screen resolution and the pen were all good. Um, my only negative points about this tablet are the heating up and then a couple of minor points about the stand. If you're looking for a good quality drawing screen then this might be a good fit for you. The pressure sensitivity as always was great and there really wasn't any noticeable lag or delay when I was working. If this size screen is a bit larger or a bit smaller than what you need, Huion does have other sizes and models available as well. I hope that this video was helpful if you were looking for information about this tablet. I'll leave links to it in the video description box if you want to check it out. Thank you again to Huion for sending me along this screen to have a look at. Please feel free to leave any questions you have in the comments down below and I'll do my best to get back to you. Thank you all for watching and have a creative day.